Hey, I'm delivering air into these caves. Look what the sign says. Five million square feet available. Is I'm dreaming? Five million square feet under here? Hey, I'm in the cave, man. I'm, a, I'm actually delivering a uh, pizza crust. I'm actually delivering pizza crust, but it's only 15,000 pounds, light as hell. I'm about 40 miles from the house. Hey, I'm delivering air into these caves. Look what the sign says. Five million square feet available. Is I'm dreaming? Five million square feet under here? Hey, I'm in the cave, man. I'm, a, I'm actually delivering a pizza crust. I'm actually delivering pizza crust, but it's only 15,000 pounds, light as hell. I'm about 40 miles from the house. I want to give our praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash. Double honors to my apostle, Elder's great middle son of a will, in peace and salutation, and all the Akim pushing this truth with our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother, Tazim Adabora, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash. And through the spirit, I want to do a real brief lesson, just showing you how the kings of the earth, they're basically trying to go on the ground to hide themselves. And what's about to take place, the wrath of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, we can clearly see we're in the times that the Lord is about to judge Babylon the Great. We have all the signs and the tokens in the heavens. Everything has been played out through the spirit, man. Especially with these devils, they're using their uh, predictive programming with their movies and their movies, their media, and, and, and all these so-called celebrities to let you know we're coming in those times, man. So, you know, operate to our Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. It's not going to be real long, just, just something brief. And it says, Amos chapter 9, verse 2, Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb into heaven, that's what I bring them down. And that's what you see, man. They're digging into hell. They're going into the uh, underground bunkers. They're trying to hide themselves from the wrath of the Lord, but they're not going to be able to hide themselves. And it says... It says then they should make. It says they should climb up to heaven because that's why they're going in their so-called retreats in space to hide from what the Lord, man. That's why they use NASA and various other program space programs to to, to basically try to st uh, stay up to date with the what the Lord's about to take place, man. What the Lord's about to do, man. And it says and though they hide themselves on the top of the Carmel, which is what they, their retreats in the mountains and things like that. They got retreats in the mountains. I forgot the name of one of them where they just go. They uh. It's a, it's a military base, and it's and it's a mountain where they hide. They show you that in various different types of movies, man. All these different types of movies, these super agent movies and things like that, they show you that they have retreats in the mountains, man. And it says, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from the sight in the bottom of the sea, because that's why they got retreats under the sea, man. They got treats under the sea. They show you that in various other type of movies, how they went all the way down on the sea and got different types of bases. It says, this I will command my serpent and he shall bite. And it's talking about the Leviathan, what you call so-called Godzilla. And he's going to shake that shit up down there, man. So that's what Esau's doing. He's preparing himself because he knows his time is short and he knows he's about to do something major, man. They know they're about to do something major event to shake this place up and really have people out here losing their goddamn mind while they watch on their so-called, uh, on their monitors. So that's why you think they got all these cameras and things up because they're going to be watching all these people lose their minds and things like that. A lot of judgment going out. They're going to be watching while they're in their bunkers, man. Because some major event is going to take place well, that's going to really goddamn fuck this place. They're really going to shake this place up. And they're going to try to hide themselves, man. Because they're really trying to hide from the wrath of the Lord when these ICBM missiles hit. And it says, Revelation chapter 6. In verse uh, 14. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. And every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And this is talking about when the ICBM missiles hit Babylon the Great and various other parts around the world, man. But mainly here in America. He said all the mountains and the islands were moved out of their places because it's going to move, man. The earth is going to be reformed, as the scriptures say, man. Just as in the time of the time of Noah, it's just going to be just like that. It says, and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and the very bond men, every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the earth. And 
and rock to the mountains. And that's what they're going to do, man. All these so-called retreats and things like that, they got staged with the shelters and the underground cities and things like that. They're going to hide themselves, man. They're going to hide from, from, the, from the destruction. They're going to try to wait it out. And it says, and say unto the mountains and the rocks, fall upon us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. That's speaking on Yahweh Shai, man. They're going to be trying to hide from the wrath of Yahweh Shai, man. Because the Lord is going to put the spirit on these other nations to shoot, shoot missiles off in this damn place, man. And, and they know that. So they're going to be trying to hide out, thinking they're going to get away. That's why they always go uh, talk about the phoenix rushing out of ashes and building a new world. That's what they think they're going to do. They think they're gonna be in some types of jets and shit, man. And it says for the day gray of the it says for that great day of the wrath, for the great day of his wrath is come, who should be able to stand? Nobody, man. If you ain't part of the hundred and forty five thousand that elected the nation of Israel in one third, you're not gonna be able to stand what the Lord's about to do to this place, man. Because the Lord is really about to fuck this place up, man. Cause judgment is needed for this place, man. And these devils know that. That's why they use the movies like Leave the World Behind, Civil War, goddamn ISS, all these new movies that's coming out. And brothers need to look into them and how they basically trying to show you that some type of major event is going to take place where people are going to start, you know, fighting amongst each other, man. That's that third stage, man. And then, and then you already know what's falling behind that, man. The anarchy, the chaos, so they can usher in the what? The law and order, man. The police state. And then the Lord is going to really shake it up when he had them, them nations shoot the missiles on this bitch, man. After the, they implement the MOTB. So a lot of things are starting being moved fast, man. This, this year, year 2024, is going to be a really, really prophetic year as far as concerning Bible prophecy, man. Because we're going to see a lot of things come to pass here in these latter days, man. This thing is going to get real turned up through the spirit, man. And if you in the spirit, you can see it, man. You can see how the Lord is gradually making things move fast, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 16. It says, For behold, I will send for many fishers, said the Lord, and they should fish them. And that's what the Lord is doing. He's sending us out as fishers, man. We're out here fishing for the elect, of the elect of the nation of Israel, man. And we're using the bait, which is what this wisdom out of understanding according to the Bible, man. Coming out of the book, man. Telling who our people, who they are according to Bible prophecy and who the nations are and what's about to take place here in Babylon the Great. And it says, And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them for every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. And that's what the Lord's going to do then. He's going to turn us to the hunters, man. He's going to turn us to hunters to start hunting up these so-called elites, these so-called people of position of power, which is you mainly Esau, so-called white man, these elites, and start grabbing their ass up, man. That's what's coming, man. And you and they're showing you because all these down, all the talk has been is get ready for some major event, man. While all these, uh, while the, these uh, celebrities and and people of uh, so-called status built their bunkers, Adam, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, and all them, they're building their bunkers up. Why? Because they know something about to take place, which we already know through the spirit. They already got bunkers and retreats that they already can go to, but they had to put that out there, revelation and method, to let you know what's about to take place. That some epic is about to take place, and we can see that through the spirit. The Lord is really about to shake this shit up, man. The the Lord is really about to turn Babylon the Great into ashes very, very soon, man. And their so-called bunkers and shit and hideouts and all that shit, they're going to try to hide from. It's not going to prosper them that day because the Lord is sending forth hunters. And we're going to grab their ass up from the holes of the mountains, from the rocks, everywhere they go, from the depths of the sea. We're going to be grabbing their ass up and rounding and putting them in slavery, man. They'll say the scriptures, man. So, and they can hide. They can try to go run into their retreats. And do what they got to do. But at the end of the day, if the Lord is not with them, which which he's not, he's not with them, these heathen. If the Lord is not with you in that day, you're going to die. And that go for you two third niggas that's trying to hide amongst Esau, Edom, you celebrities. You're going to die, too. You're going to get put to death, man. But the Lord is about to really fuck this place up, man. And there ain't nothing these damn elites of this society can do. Because them trying to run to their retreats is nothing but fulfilling Bible prophecy, man. That's showing that the word of Yahweh by Shemal Shah is faithful and true, man. So with that, you know, operate is our Lord willing. This lesson was edifying. Just something, a real brief lesson, you know, on my break. Just uh, the brother, the beloved brother sent me this. Showing how, how it's, just, hey, it's been made known that, hey, something, something's coming down the pipe. But to stay circumspect because why the evil days are approaching when, it, when things about to really get turned up in the spirit, man. And it's going to be all hell breaking loose here on Babylon the Great, man. So with that, I want to say, call, hello, and lie, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Kakodash. Double honors to my apostle, elders of great mills on the Ruel, and peace and salutation, all the I can push in his truth and our righteousness and sincerity.